What is up guys, it is your boy Reese has spoken and yet again it is another Minecraft episode with us today. This is another Minecraft showcase where I'm going to be showing off this big monstrosity in front of me. It's pretty much what this is called, this is co called Hop Lava Battle. Uh, I'll show you from start to end pretty much. Uh, oh, I don't know what that was over there. Uh, I will show you the entrance, I will show you the insides, and then I will show you what the actual thing is. It is, a, it is a massive game. We are in my mini game world, as you can see. Uh, paintball to my left. A new little game over there that I will be doing a video about as well, so you guys won't be knowing about that yet. Town and Aperture Parkour. So let's uh, go down. I'm going to land in this water, even though I can fly. Uh, this is your little entrance. Tried to make it look fancy, but it was kind of like, uh, ooh, oof. Wolfie. Uh, attack the wolf. Ish. Oh, oh, hey, hey, hey. He joined to the cactus. Oh, you died. Ha <laughs> But yeah, pretty much what it is, is this the entrance, as you can say, as I always normally do, a minecart track to the start of the game. And then we have this little entrance here where it says switch for lift. I'm just going to flick it off for now. Because I'm not going to look up, just to show where it come from. Come on, hurry up. There we go. So pretty much what it is, is uh, I thought I'd modify my entrance things because obviously a lot of my games are cut well not a lot i've started building games in the sky as you can see the one in the distance and uh, this big monstrosity under here so i needed a way of the guys being able to get up there instead of because you don't really need a host privilege of this game pretty much because of the way i've built it so uh, what you do is you hit the button and uh the lift as it says switch for lift with the uh x and d face and then the uh, lift comes down uh, I'm in creative, so I'm going to fly because this lift actually takes quite a while. So you come all the way up, and uh, you go through the bottom, and you come into here. As you can see, straight ahead of you is the control room. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the control room, and I'm going to show you guys the view that the main person controlling kind of has there. You don't really need host privileges, as I said, but um, you do need someone controlling these uh, switches that are in here that I will come back to. So what I'll do first is I'm going to actually, all it is with these outside bits are paths to each door, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back out, if it lets me, you're going to let me, I'm going to fly up, and I'm going to show you the guys over the top. As I said, the game is called Hop Lava Battle, as you can see, a lot of lava and a lot of stepping stones. Pretty much what it is, this is a four player game. We could probably do more players, but we'd have to have people come in and go to a spot first and then start. The objective of the game is pretty much as simple as this. Everyone takes a corner if you're doing four player. You then jump onto the four corner squares that you can see there are stones next to the doors but I will show you something that happens to them in a second. You then kind of jump around over on the stones and you knock each other into the lava. Last man standing wins pretty much. So uh, as I was saying uh, what I'll do first is I'll show you guys the underneath of the, uh, this big thing. As you can see a lot of redstone and a lot of pistons. You guys are probably wondering why are there lots of pistons and lots of redstone. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go in through here. I'm actually going to go through the front window and just smash my way through. I can do the glass back in a sec. As you can see on these two signs, it says hop stones on and off. And it says corner stones on and off. Unfortunately, because of the amount of redstone and this being Xbox, it is very laggy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the first switch, which is this one on my left, which is cornerstones. As I said, the opponents will enter and jump into the cornerstones of the actual big square. Because if you're not quick enough and I happen to be the host and I hit this switch, as you can see in all four corners, the stones have now gone. I pretty much did this because I didn't want people kind of hiding next to their door and not playing. So that's the fact that the cornerstones then disappear, you are now in the battle zone and you are now playing. But then what I thought was, this could get boring after a while, there's loads of stones people can jump about, people can get there really quickly. So uh, we go back in, so the cornerstones will stay down for the whole game, and then we have this bit here, which is hop stones on and off. Uh, I will more than likely, in each corner, if my friend has put in, there are beds on each corner so that you can kind of respawn back up here instead of having to run away just in case you want to do rounds. Uh, these games are normally concept built and then they are kind of tweaked to make better. Um, then, as I said, hopstones on and off. You guys saw the loads of redstone underneath and all of the uh, pistons. As I said, this will get laggy, so I'm sorry for this, guys. You hit the switch, it gets a bit laggy. And all of the middle of each square's 
uh, stones goes down. This then adds an element of difficulty to the game, to the fact that people then have to take longer paths to get to each other, making the game last slightly longer. Whoever the host is, which then sits in this nice little overseeing glass uh, room, can decide when this when these stones go on and off. If he wanted to, he could flick them off straight away and leave them down and make people fight with uh, less stones, or he could keep them up for the whole game, or he could actually switch them on and off as he wanted. But um, yeah, guys, this is pretty much a hop lava battle, wherever I've called it, or eventually I will call it. It is one of the games down in the big Game Central room over there in town. Uh, but I hope you guys like this kind of creation. Give it a thumbs up and a like if you guys do think it's quite clever. This, As I said, guys, most of these games that I do build, I either build myself off of games I have seen or I build them off of my own back. Are thinking of them I haven't actually th I don't actually think I've seen a game like this so I might actually put this forward to um, Rooster Teeth who happen to do a lot of uh, let's plays and stuff like that this would be quite a good game but what they could do though is they could just kind of expand it to fit as many if they want in it because obviously at the moment there are only four corners but what they could do is they could add on uh, entrances on that side that side and that side and then they could have it kind of like a or would that be one two three four five six seven player and then obviously normally their jeff is normally their overlooker kind of recording so that would be the seven people playing so as i always say guys my name is frank spoken if you're enjoying the videos give us a like and a subscribe and as I always say, my name is Reese Spoken. I hope you guys have a lovely day, a lovely weekend, and I'll see you guys on the next video.